What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Counting Wisdom YouTube video. I wanted to make some quick points about um, why people fall into sin. Um, so you could be using maybe a tragedy in your family, maybe something that your mom and dad did to you or they maybe they died. Maybe your parents died or a family member died and you're using that as a excuse to it could not necessarily be an excuse but it could be um, something that's really tugging on your heart to make you want to sin for example when my aunt passed away that's when I was like oh I'm just gonna drink it's like it's like a learned response it's like you know that's what people do in movies you know that's what people do and talk about. They're like, oh, you know, I'm probably just gonna drink, and and so it those tragedies are not supposed to. You have to be careful to not let them, um, you know, turn into turn you into a, you know, a, a sinner or just make you sin. The reason I thought of this is because there was. In the news, an Olympic runner who got caught using marijuana and she just won, you know, her track meet. She just won her, the Olympic, I think it's like the pre trial um, races. But she, what, what, she, she basically got tested for marijuana and so she was disqualified from actually going into the Olympics. And so that brought up some, you know, points about. You know, there's there's this, oh, I don't care attitude that you can have, you know, um, and you could be sinning. You're you're doing something that you don't you don't think you should do, but you don't care. You know, you don't care if you get caught. You're just doing it because, you know, you think that you deserve to do it or you think that you have a good reason, you know, on your part, there's there isn't a good reason. But you feel that you're justified in what you're doing. And so you think it's okay. And so you can't let yourself get to that point because when she's in the Olympics, she had to have known, you know, that they're going to be testing for marijuana. Like in, in her statement, she's like, you know, oh, I knew I was going to be tested, you know, and she's like, I take res full responsibility and different things like that and it's good that she took responsibility for her actions like that means that you know she recognizes that it's wrong but um you know when we're when you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing obviously it's hard to see that it's wrong that's why you keep doing it because it's hard to it's hard for you to see that what you're doing is not good for you and so I just wanted to make a point that you know it's good that we sometimes get caught in doing things because then you get presented the choice of whether you're going to continue to do that thing or not and so um, I, I would say you know if you feel like that's you in this video you know don't continue on you know get help you know take some action in, in what you're doing um, because it's serious, you know, life is serious and it, she, you could have this, oh, I don't care mentality, even though maybe on the camera, she's like, oh yeah, I know it was wrong. But in reality, you know, she may not have really cared that she got caught, you know, and it's like, she didn't really care about the rules, you know? And I think that's so important that we have to know the rules and believe that God is watching us because he can catch us, you know, and he does and he will. He will catch everyone. And so, you know, I think there's some lessons to be learned. Um, and, um, you know, I hope that we all learn that, you know, there's we can't use she said that she did it because her mom passed away and so she was hurt and she sought comfort in 
the marijuana. But she completely forgot about how, you know, she was on the Olympic trials and her mom wants to see her parents want to see your child succeed, not see them, you know, lose out on marijuana, you know, and you have to think about what would your your mom be saying to you? You know, she she would say she she would most likely, you know, if she is a mom that cares about you. Obviously, people can have parents that don't care about them, but in an ideal situation, you know, your parent is going to want to say, like, you know, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place and don't use them as a crutch to excuse bad behavior. And so God puts us in situations that we have to rise above. And, um, you know, I've been in those situations. I've been in that in that in that moment where you know, where I'm using a, an excuse to do something that I shouldn't be doing. And I felt that way about my body. You know, I felt that way about, you know, my, um, and when I was diagnosed with scoliosis as a kid, you know, I, I, I feel like I got super down about that, even though maybe it's not a big deal to me now these days, sometimes I'm kind of just over it. But for me personally, I felt like I was using that as a way to maybe feel bad about certain situations or it was, it it really had an effect on me. And I guess the point is that you should be aware of the things that have an effect on you and don't let those things cause you to sin. So anyway, hope you uh, got something from this video. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Um, you can visit my website, washi.com. If you want to see more life advice, life things, things that I'm accomplishing as in, in my Christian faith through with Jesus, things that Jesus is doing in my life, not necessarily I'm doing, but what Jesus is allowing me to successfully do. So God bless you. See ya.